when we think about market research, historically, it's been something that's been slow and quarterly, right? You get a quarterly report with market research, and those numbers are probably from a year ago because it took some time to collect them and some analysts had them, and then it gets passed on. When we look at what similar web can do, both through the API product and also the online interface, is you can get real-time measures, right? And if you want to start building data-driven pipelines to improve your decision-making process, you need that data to be current and crisp, right? Not from a year ago and completely out of date. And so with a tool like SimilarWeb, suddenly when you're doing market research, right, you don't have the market of two years ago, you have the market of today. And that's where I think the sort of digitization that tools like SimilarWeb provide really allow firms to potentially make better decisions about where to all allocate their marketing dollars, where their competition is coming from, and where they can find new drivers of growth. So as a professor uh, looking at strategy and entrepreneurship at Harvard Business School, a lot of my day-to-day -day activity is trying to understand what makes some firms successful and others not, which means we have to be able to measure success and we have to be able to measure failure. And that's where SimilarWeb really comes in, is it gives me a way to understand for startups, for incumbents, how they're growing and who they're competing with. When I'm thinking about the data from SimilarWeb, what I love is that you get a lot of different facets of a company's performance. So you get something like top line page views, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and you can sort of see trends over time. But you also get things like how long are users staying on the page? What keywords are they using? And it gives you a lot of different ways to understand how firms are competing, whether they're getting organic traffic, whether they're buying the traffic they get, which then helps you understand and contextualize how a firm is performing and potentially link that performance to underlying decisions that that firm is making about how they're growing. I think in terms of the future of digital marketing tools like SimilarWeb, is uh, finding even more ways to measure the myriad of ways that firms compete online, right? And so right now we're measuring it with users, right? But can we get to transaction level bases? Can we start segmenting the market on more demographics, right? And so with tools like SimilarWeb, suddenly you can segment and see a lot more of the market that you couldn't see before, allowing firms to maybe sell the populations they couldn't sell to before, allowing firms to figure out strategies that would have been possible in the past. And so I think the future is gonna be a lot better measurement of data, in particular, measurement of data that allows firms to serve a broader set of our population in a more targeted way.